Mr. Contest Master, fellow Toastmasters and honored guests, I'm Dave Aronson, a software engineer with about 39 years of experience, and I'm here to teach you about my definition of software quality. But why? After all, most of you are presumably not software developers. However, we all use software. For instance, we're all using Zoom right now. I think most of us are, to put it politely, frequently disappointed in the quality of a lot of the software we use. But again, why? Why is their quality so low? I think a large part of the problem is the lack of an agreed upon definition. Several years ago, I was looking for a good definition, but the ones I found all had some serious problems. Most were long lists of abstruse terms full of developer jargon and other technical terms. But I wanted something short and simple so that non-technical people would understand it as well, so they could tell us exactly how our software falls short, shall we say. Some of them were proprietary, applicable only to certain styles or technologies or otherwise restricted. But I wanted something everyone could use with all software and for free. Some weren't even about the software at all, but about the process or its byproducts, like dictating you must hold these meetings or write those documents. I wanted something more focused on the software itself and descriptive rather than prescriptive. Long story short, I didn't see anything that I liked, nor that was commonly accepted. So in the spirit of XKCD, I decided to make my own. However, rather than taking the usual approach of incorporating the best parts of all the existing approaches, I decided to pare it down to just the bare essentials. Eventually, I came up with something I call acrumen. Now, this is a Latin word meaning sour fruit, which is why you'll see so much lemon yellow throughout these slides. But in this context, the acronym acrumen, try saying that 10 times fast, stands for the idea that software should be appropriate, correct, robust, usable, maintainable, and efficient. But what does all that mean? First and foremost, it needs to do what the stakeholders need it to do. In other words, do the right job. And please notice that I say stakeholders, not just the end users. This is a lot more people. Next, it needs to do that job or perhaps those jobs correctly without bugs or other errors. In other words, do the job right. It's pretty much what it sounds like. Next, it should be hard for anyone to make the software crash or otherwise malfunction, or even seem to, whether deliberately or accidentally. On the other hand, it should be easy for the users to use. Many people say usable and really mean accessible, but I think that's just a subset. To me, software should be easy for everyone to use, not just equally difficult. It should also be easy for the developers to change with low chance of error and low fear of error. And last, dead last, despite how we developers tended to absolutely worship this just a few short decades ago, it should go easy on resources. Both the technical ones we usually think of, like the central processing unit and the memory, but also soft resources like the user's patience and brain power and the company's money. Now, I've said there are six aspects and there are six listed up there, but, but Acrumen has seven letters. So what does the N stand for? Nothing, I just tacked it on to make a real word, even if an obsolete one. So how can we apply this definition? Mainly, we can keep it in mind as a mental checklist when writing or evaluating software. We can ask, is it appropriate? Is it correct? And so on. Or how good is it in each aspect, whether that's on some scale like one to 10 or just simple triage? Or we can ask, is it good enough for our needs? And if it's ever not 
Good enough, we can ask. What can be done to make it so? Looking at software in each of these aspects can help prioritize further work on it. In conclusion, if we software developers remember to make sure that our software is appropriate, correct, robust, usable, maintainable, and efficient, then nobody should have any cause to be sour about the fruits of our labors. Mr. Contest Master. <laughs>